Hello, and welcome to another FIFA 19 video. Actually, it's probably, if we're being totally honest, the last FIFA 19 video. So we're here to say bye, right? Can't be, dude. What up, Roms? Say hi. So, you know, back in the day, we were like number two in the world, at least in terms of the video that we saw, we were number two in the world. And, and then we ended up, look at this, n number 31. And it's like, wow. Now, I know we are not very good at playing this game, but why the heck, what just happened? Why did I just, ah, that was weird, man. That was like a bug. All right, but somehow we got to number 31 with our with our 198, and the thing is, everybody got all the good players. I mean, like, if you played FIFA in the last couple weeks, you ended up with the same dudes that we ended up with, these lone players, these lonely, like, you got the 10 games of, like, the best players in the world, and I'm sure it's exciting for all y'all who, who gets to play with these guys, but we already had these guys and now everybody has these guys so our top team is no longer the top team and the top team just becomes a who can get the best like lineup to get the highest point total. I don't actually know what a team has to do to get the top 198 versus just a regular 198 or versus our 198. Like when I look at our 198, to be clear, if I go to, no, it's not about the subs. It's about having no subs. It's about having just the highest number, period. If I look at our top squad, our 198 squad, let me show you what we've got that we believe is the best team you can possibly make. And I think somebody clearly has proven us wrong. Like here is our top squad. We actually had Royce in, uh, in, the, in the back here. Why do we have De Bruyne in so that we could get Hazard in at full camp? Yeah, that's the reason. That is the reason why. Now, yes, we... But there's no way to get 298s uh, in here at the right camp. There's no... The only other 98 is this guy. If Royce goes in, then poof. Now, uh, I think if we got Lewandowski, we probably would get Lewandowski and Royce and play them both. So there is probably a way. But as you can see, like everyone else's top squad is most likely full of loan players. We did put Pele's loan in there because we did the SBC on the other guy. So I never wanted to buy the full price 99 version of Pele. But anyway, this is our top squad. But that's not the squad we play with. We play with Beast Mode. Beast Mode is our squad. Well, let's go take a look. And this is our guys. This is the guys. Bye. I guess can't be dude is out. You can just, you know, they're literally watching you walk off the screen like, hi. What's up? Bye. So, so if we look at beast mode right here, right? If we see what's happening right here, we see that we've got some of our best players. And I look at like who, who, who's produced for us over the years. Who's like gotten our goals? I mean, this guy right here, he's played, you know, 1,064 games for us. He's scored 510 and assists 270. And what you have to realize is, yeah, that's not as awesome if, as if he were like our only guy, but we have like everybody who can score, right? We got Neymar who's played 995, scored 382 with 277 and assist that's pretty nutso we go over and we check Mbappe Mbappe is just rocking it he has played 881 250 scored 177 assists so you can see it's like they've all spread out like you can't get four or five goals a game especially in foot champs or rivals or anything like that so you know that's kind of how it rolls but other guys we got that have been playing a lot of games Rude Hullet playing 700 games usually as a CDM so he's not as offensively minded but definitely still puts in the goals I mean what do we got 125 goals and 99 assists while playing with our club uh, some of our Late additions, my man R9, the prime version, not the moments version, of course. But this guy right here, if I look at his stats, he's only actually played 79 games and he's had a very good ratio. You can see 30 goals, 30 assists, and 79 games is pretty slick. He's a decent player for sure. I uh, just, you know, check out our boys. I mean, this is this is the team we got. Even our 98 Maradona, he's, he's, he's a pretty good player. You know, we, we love our Messi. But these guys, they haven't even played in that many games for us. And when they do come in, they're coming in as subs, so they're not even getting, like, their full action. But this is basically who we've got in our bench. You know, we just go out there. We try to have fun with these really awesome players. The problem is we end up losing the people. Speaking of which, do I even think that there's going to be somebody playing right now? Let's try. I wonder if there's even a game. I literally haven't played a Rivals game in like forever. So we're going to try it. We're going to call this our last Rivals game. Uh, and I don't even think we're going to get a game, to be perfectly honest with you. I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to be out there, but there's like no one else out there playing the game. So we're going to be playing by ourselves or not playing as the case may be and going to squad battles. We'll see. So now, what do we have here? Fitness, did I not do it? How am I not doing it? It's been a while, my friends. I have completely forgotten how to do this game, haven't I? Let's go here. All right, let's, what the, what the what? Did I do something? Why is that not working? It's like not selecting, are you kidding me right now? That's so weird. Okay, something is wrong, and I don't know what it is. Why isn't this working? FIFA 19, you are not that busted. Did I change from controller setting or something? Because that would be pretty weird, wouldn't it? But I don't think that's it. So I go here. What? That's so weird. 
It's like not working. Oh, that's just weird, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It didn't work. I, I, I've never seen that before. Of course, it's like the last game. We got a game. We're playing somebody. Who are we going to be playing? Oh my God, there's actually another human being still playing FIFA 19. It's like September 14th and, you know, FIFA 20 is coming out soon and it's going to be epic. And right now, look at that, baby. 194, baby. We are playing a squad right here. These guys got everybody. They got Suns, team of the season. They got Pogba. They got De Bruyne. These guys can play. These guys can play, and they're probably thinking, hey, those guys can play too. That's a pretty sick squad you got with no lone players in it. Josh wins 13. He's probably not going to win. Here it goes. Let's find Adam out. Smith. All right, stay together, folks. Stay together. It's been a long time since I played the game. Oh, he's making a move. Oh, what? Come on, dude. You can't quit like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that pretty much sums up the state of FIFA 19. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm excited for FIFA 20. It's coming out. It's going to be cool. Volta looks awesome. All of the other games, look. it looks like a much more realistic game where you don't just cross the ball and try to get those El Tornadoes win. So it's cool, man. I'm excited about it. And apparently everybody else is. That was ridiculous, but pretty much sums up FIFA 19. So listen, I really appreciate all the views all along. Watching, watching our FIFA 19 videos, totally cool. Appreciate the support. You know, we're gonna still have like Minecraft videos for sure, but FIFA 20 is coming and we are gonna have that. I had access to the beta, can't talk about it, but I can only tell you that I enjoyed playing the beta. I enjoyed it, it was a fun experience. So I'm very, very, very excited for FIFA 20. FIFA 20 is gonna be cool. And, and I'm actually kind of excited that Messi is officially gonna have the highest rated player in the game over Ronaldo. I think that's gonna be cool. I'm excited about that. So nomenclature, lost my connection. Whatever, I guess. And for the rest of you, stay tuned. Week or so, FIFA 20 in the house, baby. Bye.